and Stamford Bridge is the venue on a very pleasant day for football here in West London. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Chelsea versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Kalidou Koulibaly plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. And Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And potentially a real handful in attack today, Raheem Sterling. And here's the Wolves lineup. Pedro Neto plays with Gonzalo Gedge on the flanks. And the striker is a man who can be a real handful, Raul Jimenez. attending Stamford Bridge. Enjoy the game. It ought to be a really interesting battle. Chelsea kick off. Mount. Rhys James, Sterling, now with Jorginho, now Chelsea in a position of menace, and credit is due for that good piece of defending. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. And I must say that's very good refereeing, going back to hand out the yellow card in that fashion. And Sterling has it. Here's Mount. Excellent defending. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff, it should be! Didn't fool the keeper. It's a short one. And a Chelsea throw in coming up here. James. Now Conte. Well, it's a team full of stars, and you never quite know who's going to pop up and shine. Perhaps, Stuart, it'll be Raheem Sterling today. Well, he's a good all-round player. When he's closing the ball down, he does it at pace. When he's linking up the play, he's good at that. But his real attribute and his threat is when he runs in behind defenders. That's when he's at his most dangerous. Gonzalo Gedge. And he might be through here. And a goal! 1-0. And what a fast start they've made to this game. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. One nil then. Nunes. In with a chance. And another one. Two quick goals. Will it turn out to be the two punch knockout?
we can take another look now. It's wonderful interplay between the two of them to start the move. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. N'Golo Conte. And Sterling has it. So it's going to be a goal kick here. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Firing is in. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Mount. Conte. And Mount. He continues his run. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Sterling. Chance to make a game of it here. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? Gonzalo Gedge. Nunes. Moving it forward. Using his strength to hold on to the ball and wait for teammates to arrive. Palmed away by the keeper. Mount. Sterling has it. Rhys James. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Well, as you can see, Wolves are struggling to control possession, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Koulibaly. And that was a very fine read. Difficult to stop him. Conte. Now with Mount. Superb block. Well, this has to be their way back into the game. The crowd are certainly playing their part. Well, opting for the short corner. Koulibaly. Splendid defending. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. And Sterling has it. Trying to chisel a chance out of it. The save was a good one. And the short option preferred. Conte. Shielding the ball superbly. Could pull one back here. And he does. He's thrown his team a lifeline. The belief is back.
Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Havertz. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, they get the ball rolling again, and Chelsea are giving this a real go. And tidily played. And in with a real chance. Excellent block by Thiago Silva. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, three minutes to be added on. Aspili Quetta did well to win the ball back. Raul Jimenez. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. Well, not quite happening for Raheem Sterling up to now, Stuart. Yeah, I've been really disappointed with him today, Derek. He just hasn't looked himself, but I think it's fair to say he hasn't had great service, has he? So they get the ball rolling once again, and it's advantage Wolves after the first half. Let's see what the second 45 has in store for us here. A chance to whip it in. And a play for what will be a Chelsea throw. And Golo Conte. This is Aspini Quetta. James. Conte now. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Delightful pass. Well, not allowed to continue. He had drifted into the offside position. Well, if he takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind, he'll be onside. But he does know where the space is. Jorginho. On the ball, Aspili Quetta. Mount. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Credit to them for winning back possession. Moutinho. Mendy. Koulibaly. Now with James. There to win it back. Oh, a nice looking pass. But how well he did to cut that one out. So a half an hour remaining. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Havertz. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? We'll just take another look at this because the one two to get behind the defense is superbly worked while the movement in the box is equal to it it's such good timing what a goal well, you 
you've really got to give credit to the entire team because this was a bit like climbing Mount Everest. Mount. A creative look about this. And potential danger. Oh, it's astonishing! One of the greatest comebacks you're ever likely to see. And now the question is, can they see this out? Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Two it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? James. Aspili Quetta. And Mount. That's a good looking ball. Mount. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. Could play it in. The outcome is a goal kick here. Now referring to the earlier infringement, the referee sees it as a bookable offence. Substitution for Chelsea. Coming off the pitch, number five, Jorginho, to be replaced by number 21, Ben Chino. Twenty minutes to go. Well read to win possession back. Kukureya. Chilwell. It's with Cody Bali. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. And they've given him too much space. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Kuribali. Conte now. Mount. Kukureya. Perfect challenge. Johnny. Well, possibilities in the centre. Jimenez. Not far from the ideal cross. Keeper's ball all the way. Well, almost at the end of the game now, it's been a fascinating contest, and it's Chelsea with a very narrow advantage. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, it's been great entertainment, and we've seen some excellent attacking football. But, oh, well, relying on their goalkeeper. Well, there's not long left now, but that just about keeps the minute. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Substitution for Wolverhampton Wanderers, coming off the pitch. Number seven, Pedro Neto. Coming Going short. Mount. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. And he's broken free. He got a good palm on it. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure a victory. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Mateo Trying to deliver it accurately. Struggling to get it away. Koulibaly. And they know they need to stop him. Defended well. Adama. Now with Jimenez. Kilman. Gonzalo Gersh now. Well, Chelsea are nearly there, and their fans know it. Just listen to the support they're giving their team. Not long left now. Kovacic. 
and Mount. Kovacic. Here's Mount. And return to Aubameyang. And a body in the way. And that'll be a Chelsea ball. And options in the centre. And that is that. The referee brings this match to an end and Chelsea get the three points. What did you make of their performance as a whole? Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes and they fully deserved their victory today. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.